next up, we have Morgan Sharp. Um, and she is a constant light in everyone's life, an amazing athlete, and a great friend. Morgan. How many of us in this room think everything has to be perfect? Have to wear the perfect outfit every day, the perfect car, the perfect shoes, the perfect hair, perfect grades, and the perfect performance. Perfection is defined as the constant state or quality of being free or as free as possible from all flaws or defects. Perfection grounds us. Perfection is something I let define me throughout high school. It's something I felt, and most likely many of you in this room have felt like we had to be like every day. Perfection is not reality. It's something we strive for in our everyday lives, like on a test or in a game, or even in a mirror. It's not always a bad thing, but it's not always the ultimate goal. What I've learned over the past few years is that a grade on a test doesn't define who you are. Your performance in a sport doesn't define you. How many likes you get on an Instagram post also doesn't define you. Because in 10 years, no one is going to remember that bad grade you got or how many likes you got. What defines you is the person you are, the character you have, how you treat others, what you're passionate about, and what you love to do. In my opinion, my experiences at Baylor have given me the opportunities to find who I am, what I'm passionate about, and what my perfect looks like. Some popular questions in high school we often get are, what do you want to do with your life? Or what do you want to be when you get older? It's overwhelming because you feel like you have to have the perfect answer. But this is a part of our lives where we find that and what we love to do. We are given opportunities here at Baylor to try different things, some things we fail at, and some things we succeed at. But that's the beauty of the time you have here. There are so many uncertainties in our future and in the world around us, and it's up to us to find our perfection. I mean, how many times do we scroll through Instagram and think, oh my gosh, she's so perfect, I wish I looked like her. But it shows how much social media and the people around us define our opinion about ourselves and our image of perfection. So the question is, what do we gain by perfection? After playing sports most of my life, here's what I've learned. In softball, three for three is perfection. But I actually learn more by going one for three or zero oh for three. Most lessons in life are learned through failure, not success and perfection. I also think perfection creates a mindset of immediate gratification. In our world today, I feel like everyone is looking for instant satisfaction. We want everything easy at our fingertips. I can get a perfect answer to any question just by looking it up on my phone, but I never had to research or study to get it. So is being perfect really what we should look for? If you ask me, not exactly, but finding, but learning to find what is perfect to us and what we should look for and slowing down and actually living in the moment. Because we only get four years here to make these moments count. Think to yourself. When you have been in these moments when you thought you had to be perfect, were you judging yourself or were you trying to please someone else? I think we are in these moments without realizing it daily because it just seems natural to us, which it shouldn't be. Our happiness depends on us being okay with who we are, not judging ourselves every second and doing what is perfect to us. What I think perfect is my time here at Baylor, meeting my lifelong friends and being a part of one big family. It's been perfect. If I could go back and do it all over again, I would. But to take away from all of this, here's some things I learned. One, failure doesn't define you. It's growth for succeeding. Two, we are all perfect in our own ways, and that's what makes you, you. Three, we are all enough no matter what knocks us down. For instance, when Claire throws a chicken at you, yes, I mean a real life chicken, you have to get back up, even though it's really terrifying. I encourage you guys one thing, to not try and be so perfect, but to find your perfect. Your time is limited here. Don't waste it on worrying about what others think or how perfect you can be, and just be you. Thank you.